Are you by yourself or your third wheel in this situation? <laughs> the what? I'm third wheel right now. You're third wheel on you, this is a, you know the guy. No. No, you don't know them at all. <laughs> so was the other thing I said. Are you enjoying yourself, miss? Your arms are folded. I know it's cold in here. So yeah, I can't tell if you're just furious. Are you a single dude? Recently just put up. Just put up? Oh. Whose idea was it? She left on a train, so. She left on a train? In the 1950s? Frankly, my dear. She looked on a train. It's like the Cindy Lauper video for time after time. You're lost together. That's so sad. It was like you guys had a fight and she went to a train station. <laughs> Fuck her, dude. If you were worth your shit, you'd have a car, bitch. Those are things you could have yelled at her from the train station parking lot. All aboard? What? Where was she going? Back to her hometown? Did she take all of her stuff, like, in a stick with a bandana on it? And I'm taking a small dog and this fishing pole for some reason. Locomotive coming in 15 minutes. I gotta jump on the back. Are you dating a hobo? Maybe you're new queens in this room right now. I don't know if you know, but there's five single ladies in here. And they're all so hot for your cock, dude. What do you do? I work at Truly. You work at Truly? Oh, really? Nice. Weed dispensary. That's pretty dope. This bitch got better going on in her life than she left you. Fuck that. I bet there's girls in this audience that want to be with a weed dispensary guy. Do you get free weed? I get this. I could probably get you a Jewish girl in Florida. That's all over the place. Any of those single ladies Jewish? <laughs> this ain't that Florida, I guess. I have to go south? You fucking running me out of town because I'm Jewish? Get the fuck out of here. Take your ass south, Jew boy. Are you guys married now? Yeah? You seem pretty young for that. How old are you? 34. How about you? 30. 30. Night. Married long? Five. Since you were 25. Nice, dude. <laughs> You've stolen all of her best years. <laughs> First grade teacher, that's pretty hot. <laughs> you ever play teacher-student with him? You guys role play? It's hard that we teach first grade. <laughs> is weird. I just colored this all inside the lines. Like, well, here's teacher's pussy. I need an adult. All my teachers were like old ladies and Indian people. Never had a hot teacher. Hmm? What'd you say? You fucked your teacher? In high school? Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Well, I'm sorry. We all don't have fantastic fathers like you, princess. So what? She's broken. She's fine. She pulled it together. She's here. Economics. Economics 101. What year? Senior? Yeah, senior. How old was he? Uh, 36. Good for you. Good for you. This guy. Good for you. Did everybody at school know? Uh, all the football players, yeah. Did you ever fuck at school? Yeah. I'm gonna come. <laughs> That's a hot story. I mean, as a father of a daughter, I hate it so hard, but... Did you get fired? Um, no, we, we kept a secret. Damn. You are damaged. <laughs> Who 
Who's your boyfriend now? Your boss. <laughs> you call your boyfriend daddy? Ew. I don't like that. I mean, it's fine for you if you would, but I don't know. Me and my girl had a threesome with a chick one time. It was the funniest, so weird. This girl in the middle of hooking up, she started doing mommy dad. She's like, does mommy want baby to suck daddy's pee pee? We were all like, what? And she just kept doing it. Baby, should baby suck daddy's pee pee? My girlfriend was like, I don't think we like this. She was like, but baby. I was like, mommy, please tell baby to suck daddy's baby so we can get this. The quicker we get a cock in her mouth, this is over. Baby, <laughs> but mommy to Yet. Daddy, what does he do? Is he older than you again? How much? 12 years. 12 years, yeah, you like him older. Daddy issues. Is it daddy issues? Yeah. Your dad sucks? No, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's not good enough to not make you fuck all his work buddies. He was good-ish. What do you do for a living? I go clean houses. You clean houses? Alright. It's not a fan. I'm a CEO at a marketing firm. It's noble work, fuck it. Huh? What'd you say? Maybe it's topless. Topless uh, house cleaning? That'd be chill. How much does that cost? You want to clean my motel room at this weird place? I promise you there's something here. Last time I came to this place, I swam in that pool and got pregnant. The doctors couldn't explain it. I had to go up north way and get me an abortion. <laughs> I live with it. I live with the kids. It's pretty cool. It's not topless, though. But there's a price for it, though, right? There is. There's a price for everything. What does the price start for topless housekeeping? 500. 500. How about bottomless? Uh, <laughs> How you eat pussy? Well, not well while you're cleaning my fucking house. This isn't a prostitution gig. You're supposed to clean my shit. I'm gonna white glove it when you're done. Would mean, you call this clean? Would you want this in your pussy right now? If it's so clean, why can't I put it in your pussy then? Okay, okay. Give me the pledge. You get the pledge. I'm paying you five hundred dollars. I try to get your pussy. I'm gonna be talking through it like you got the thing. You got the thing. There's a weird question for the ladies. It's come up recently for me. Has a guy ever tried to chew on your pussy? <laughs> I know it's a weird question, but someone would have said yes. Yep. It does look like bubble gum. No, that's the whole point. I've never chewed a pussy. But somebody did a rapid fire question and answer thing with me recently. And they go, describe a vagina in one word. And I said, chewy. <laughs> and I know what I meant. I just. I just also don't know why I say it. But it does look chewy. So I was wondering if a guy's ever chewing your pussy, don't be mad at him, because like, it just looks che I've never chewed them. I've never done it, but I have opened my mouth over a lot of them like a reluctant vampire. And I shan't. for topless housekeeping. You got that kind of scratch, bro? The bottomless is negotiable depending on how you eat pussy. I know what he means. 
Please don't fucking ooh and all. Man. He's talking about paying for pussy and shit. Yeah, yeah. He's not hard up for pussy. And you're also pretty young. How old are you? 26. 26, yeah. I'm 46. I'm past the ashamed of paying her to do these things. Now I'm just like, I just want to have the experience. Will she keep doing stuff if I just keep giving her different money? Uh, do the windows with paper towels stuffed in your asshole? 70 more bucks. streak on the thing. Is it a testament to her asshole? Or the quality of the paper towel? These are the questions you gotta ask everybody. What does your friend do? What do you do? House clean also? You guys a team? We are. Fuck yeah. So a thousand for two topless girls. Yeah? I mean, yeah. We'll do it. You gotta look happy about it though. Don't be cleaning sad tits. Just, just drag it all low. Do a bunch of like, do a bunch of like up top stuff. I'm tall and short, so we got, we got a little. Uh... So if you're flying 69, you gotta hold her. I'll think of the logistics. She's gonna be upside down. If the little one holds the tall one, she's gonna scrape her head on the ground. You guys don't think that when you see two people, how it would work out if they flying 69? Do you guys not know what a flying 69 is? It's when someone runs full speed at another person, and then they jump, they flip upside down. So head goes to dick, and the other head goes to the other dick. Flying 69. Why did I make it two dicks? Freudian, some would say.